Hi everyone, Joe here, and as promised, we're back with some updates about the latest iOS 9 beta, which is beta 3. First off, no, the news app is not present in this version for the iPod Touch, but it should be there for most iPhones and iPads. On the other hand, Apple Music made its way onto iOS 9, and it is available just like on iOS 8.4. However, even for the 3 months of free trial you will need a credit card, so be sure to add it if you want to try the Apple streaming service on your device. Fortunately, if you choose not to use Apple Music, it will get out of the way and leave you with the same music app from Beta 2, with some new tricks up in its sleeve. First of all, it is now much easier to reorganize the playing queue and go from almost everywhere within the app. You then also have two new options which are Like and Share. The like button will give Apple a better understanding of your own personal taste to deliver a better experience within the Apple Music service. The share one apparently works for cloud music only, so basically Apple Music and their new radio. By the way, the radio now probably works and I gotta say it's not bad overall, but there's still a lot to do in order to make it really noteworthy. Another interesting new feature in the music app is the already announced Apple Connect, which basically consists of a mini social network where you can get updates, photos and videos from your favorite artists. Nothing that you couldn't already do with Twitter or Instagram, but it's nice to have all of those features condensed in just one app. Now, as for the rest of the system, I've noticed a couple of other differences. One is the multitasking, which looks a little bit slower throughout the animations, possibly on purpose, even if I preferred the previous faster scrolling. Another one is the lock screen, which now has both a bolder font for the clock and also presents the same like and share buttons from the music app when you're listening to something. They also feature in the control center, by the way, so you can tell that Apple badly wants you to use them. Among the other minor tweaks, you'll also find some updated icons here and there, like the new battery icon in the settings, and a couple of new folders in the Photos app, which now includes the selfies and screenshots categories. Other system apps have also been updated, with the Inbox one being my favorite with its sleek animations for specific actions on your email. In terms of general performances, the system looks overall slightly faster than Beta 2, but still it's a long way to go to make it upgrade worthy for most iOS 8 users. One consistent and really, really annoying bug I've found in iOS 9 Beta 3 is the status bar on top, which no matter how you go back to the home screen will always take an extra second to appear. It's really distracting and it's something that hopefully should be fixed with the next beta, so stay tuned in the next days if you want to know about that. Finally, something new from this latest beta 3 is the 4x4 grade in the folders, which is unfortunately an iPad exclusive, at least for now. So that's basically it, thank you so much for watching, and we'll have another video as soon as beta 4 is released, but until next time, this was Joe, see you guys!